another YouTube. Welcome from my stoop. Today I'm back on my um, on my old topics. Uh, thinking. Cogito ergo sum. Um, after my last video, I kind of decided maybe I should stop doing reviews because I'm uh, I'm a Latakia lover. So all the blends I smoke is Latakia, and they're all a smoky, buttery, stable, woody, <laughs> creamy, grassy, zesty. Maybe here, here and there a little bit um, nuance difference, but um, not a major difference in terms of. Uh, or that's that's one thing. Or the other thing is that I'm not eloquent enough to to write poetry about um, the tobacco that I that I review. But in any case, uh, just thinking. Again, thinking. Today's topic is. Um, about freedom. I made a sermon about uh, two weeks ago and I used um, the Statue of Liberty as the main focus point of my sermon from Galatians. Um, and uh, yeah, the French government gave, as far as I know, the Statue of Liberty as a gift to America. Um, after the French Revolution of freedom, brotherhood, and uh, like it. Uh, any case, so the point that I'm trying that I that I or two things that I realized in doing this sermon was the first thing is um, it is strange that. Despite the fact that freedom are for most modern people almost sacrosanct, um, our freedom, and it, it all started actually with the French Revolution where freedom became really the, the main focal point of human existence. Um, but I think it actually started way earlier, maybe even in Paul's time or even before that, but in any case. The point that I'm trying to make is, what I realized was that although, although freedom are very, very important for most modern people today, it is, it is strange how easy we then also um, uh, transgress on other people's freedom. For example, you know, a country might have a freedom charter or a, a very progressive f um, constitution, and yet in that same country you will find where freedom of people are transgressed for by some other reason. Um, it happens in look at the news in America, in in France. I mean, where it all started in the in the in the modern times in our own country where we've got almost the most progressive constitution learning from all the rest in 1994 um, not all people are free in South Africa um, for whatever reason but, but, but you know so, so which which then made me realize that freedom is actually not freedom if it doesn't go with responsibility. Freedom and full freedom uh, requires responsibility. So if you do not have responsibility you can actually not be free because you will then abuse that freedom. So that's the one thing that I realized. The second thing that I realized was that um, freedom is or can be relative in the sense that if you are free 
to how can I put it um, some people will say I'm free I can do whatever I want to but if you only do whatever you want to without responsibility you're actually not free you, you became a slave to your own desires so freedom really really freedom is also a freedom from yourself from your own enslavery from your own desires and if you can yeah with other words self-control if you don't have freedom with self-control then you are a slave of, of, of yourself so yeah um, freedom is important and we all want freedom but it comes with responsibility and you can be free yet a slave of money or desire or whatever the thing is that you want to be free to do um, you're free to smoke you're free to drink to drink you're free to be an alcoholic but you're not free because you are driven by your desire so yeah those are the two things that I thought about by when I made my sermon the responsibility that goes with freedom and the fact that uncontrolled freedom is actually slavery and just in another form what do you think what's your opinion um, yeah Thank you for watching and uh, please leave your comments and uh, I'll see you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.